Welcome back to Get Cooking in Cloud, where we share the best recipes to apply in your cloud kitchen. I'm Priyanka, and today is our final day in our gluten-free kitchen with our special guest, Jenny. That's right. We've been through so much on this journey, from realizing it was more than just a recipe to making sure allergens and personally identifiable information stay where they belong. So let's jump back in. In the last two episodes, we've talked about Dinner Winner, which is an application that collects recipes from users all over the world, and the winning recipe makes it on their platform and receives an award. We know there might be personal information initially tied to these submissions that need to be removed before anything else can happen. And we want this to be a seamless automated process. We saw an architecture of how they can automate and classify the uploaded data by using Cloud Storage, Cloud Functions, DLP, and PubSub. We created a four-step process for the Dinner Winner team to get this solution implemented. And we were halfway there by setting up our project and our permissions and creating the Google Cloud Storage Bucket and PubSub. Today, we combine the remaining ingredients and bake. When making something gluten-free, we need to check on two things. Our ingredients are gluten-free and our environment is gluten-free. Similarly, for Dinner Winner, we need two cloud functions. One that is invoked when an object is uploaded to Google Cloud Storage, and the other that is invoked when a message is received in the Cloud PubSub queue. Let's start by creating the cloud function that triggers from the Cloud Storage bucket. We will open Cloud Functions and create a new function. Name it as Create DLP Job. In the trigger field, we will select Cloud Storage and select the Quarantine bucket from the bucket browser. Select Python 3.7 for the runtime. And in the inline editor, copy and paste the code from the link in the description below in main.py and requirements.txt. You will find that there is a create DLP job function, which creates the DLP job from when a recipe is uploaded in the bucket. So in the function to execute, we will replace the hello GCS with create DLP job and create that function. Now we need to create the cloud function that gets invoked when a message is received in the cloud pub sub queue. It's pretty much the same, but this time we'll choose cloud pub sub in the trigger field and enter our pub sub topic. We will use the same function code as last time, but in the function to execute, we use resolve DLP this time. And with that, we have both our cloud functions ready. And now for the moment of truth, has our recipe for secure application automation done the trick for dinner winner? I think we've effectively avoided any personal information cross-contamination, but we will need to test it out and make sure. So we've got some sample recipes that have some sensitive data in them and some that have non-sensitive data. We are defining the sensitive data as name, email address, location, and phone numbers. But you can change it in the code to define it values or info types that you prefer. OK, so let's test it. We will do it in Cloud Shell. Clone the Git repo, navigate to the sample data, and then copy the files over to GCS Quarantine Bucket. The DLP API inspects and classifies each file uploaded to the Quarantine Bucket and moves it to the appropriate target bucket based on its classification. Let's open our buckets and review the uploaded files. Let's click on the Quarantine Bucket and click on a file and see that it does not have any sensitive data. Let's also check out one of the files from the non-sensitive bucket, and we see that it does not contain any sensitive data either. Now one final check. Let's see one of the files in our sensitive bucket. And as expected, this contains emails, which is one of our sensitive data parameters that we'd had set. So that's it. Dinner Winner has their application automated and can return to their gamified recipe submission with confidence. Here's to the pursuit of deliciousness. Check out the article linked in the description for more step-by-step -step information. If you're hungry for more, be sure to like, subscribe, and catch us next time for another episode of Get Cooking in Cloud.